Good morning, I'm Scott King on this sunny Saturday afternoon here at the Atlanta Area Technical College. 600 students from all around the district are competing in this year's APS Technology Fair of 2015. With a strong theme of 21st century ideas and creations, it's a tough one to beat perhaps from last year and the year before that. But today, we take the challenge and we'll walk around and talk with students who are being judged and showing off their talents. Please enjoy the following presentation. So we're on our first stop here at the APS Technology Fair for 2015, where I've stumbled across 3D printing, a concept I kind of know, but never had the chance to grow up with. But I've got somebody here who's going to explain it all to me, Mr. Anthony Jenkins from the South Atlanta Computer Aided Design High School. And so Anthony, what have we got here? Uh, well, we have a MakerBot, uh, a 3D printer that uh, runs on MakerWare that builds things out of ABS plastic, the same plastic that like, 3D Legos use, I mean, Legos use. And what we do is you print things from scratch or anything that's pre-built and it just builds in layers where, where it makes a 3D figure or something or anything like that. Okay, so we've gone through the ins and outs of what's going on here, but why do I care and why should society care about what's going to happen in the future? Well, we use 3D printers to print things very faster and uh, make a, a, well, sort of the modern world. Wait, hold on, I messed up. Well, when we were talking, you talked about the body parts and uh, uh, things you hear about 3D printing. So design, we get concepts before we really have to spend a lot of money on them, perhaps? Uh, it's cheaper. It's actually a lot cheaper and expensive. And it, it's, it's better to use this because it's faster, and yet uh, it uses less material than normal what we use. And uh, it's very structured and sturdy. And so it's, it's uh, yet convenient, yet inexpensive. All right, so moving along, I've run across a concept I thought I knew, but uh, this freshman from Douglas High School is going to explain. So Jabari, I want to know, uh, what have you got here? I see a lot of wires, but I thought an elevator was really simple, but you've kind of re-explained the concept. So give us a brief explanation. Basically, this elevator is like more but factories, they don't have, they like, you know how they use like man-made products and they have like the man actually making it. Now more is like, this is the world. And like interfaces and wires and all of that they can they connect and make something bigger and so it moves by itself and basically it moves up and down like a real elevator and so we took the simulation of a real elevator and rebuilt it using the products called Fisher Technique. So I thought an elevator was a simple concept so as we, as adults and, and people, as we use elevators every day, we have to rethink things out, do we not? Yes, sir. Elevators these days are now run by machines like people sitting, and they make, they make machines that make machines. In your research, have you found that elevator technology has changed, or has it always been somewhat the same? No, technology has, has a, a dramatic change. So what's your future plan? This seems like phase one of a bigger uh, elevator career. What's your thought there? This is really not my future. My future plan is to become a manufacturing engineer or a biomedical engineer, whichever one works out. All right, most of today we've been talking with the youngsters and their projects, but parents, of course, are a major component of this in supporting the students. I'm here with a Garden Hills parent, Mr. Van Landingham, who's gonna kind of give us his perspective on and off of what's happening today and why he's come out on a, such a nice, beautiful day. So uh, let's go, go right to it. What brings you out today? Well, I think it's uh, just really amazing to see all the kids and, the, and their creative minds and all the amazing technologies that they think of. So it's just been good to see their, their energy and their passion and what they've kind of invented. Okay, so I don't know who you're here representing, but tell us about their project and um, how you got involved in that. Well, my son, Garner Van Lanningham, is at uh, Garden Hills, and uh, he has two students with him, Jake Nelson and Ford Underwood, and they did a, basically an uh, interactive multimedia project to talk about different things in the environment that they want to cor correct. So uh, my son did a project on great white sharks, uh, and uh, Ford Underwood did a project on uh, bullying, and uh, Jake Nelson did a project on uh, recycling. Okay, so I know as an adult, uh, looking at all these student projects, I kind of get a nice refresher on things I thought I knew, but they kind of uh, tuned me up on. Was that the case uh, with your son? 
Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, it's interesting to see how their minds work. Obviously, uh, these kids present a lot of things that we parents need to think about again and also give us some, some creative ideas of ways in which they're kind of pushing the boundaries. So our first page is about kindergarten. And then our, our kindergarten, our first page is welcome to kindergarten. It's time for us to give us a little tour. What's easy and hard? I said what's easy and hard is what's easy is counting. These are our pictures from when we, when we were at school. This is touch point. And then it's time for me to explain my pictures. So what was the neatest part about your project? The neatest part is about our picture um, projects is games and videos. Did you find it hard to use the laptop? Yes. I think what was so hard about it? What's hard about it is that when you add, when you subtract, what's hard about it? So this is a very innovative project. What's what's next? What's the next big project for you? The next, we don't have a next project, but though um, we only have this project about kindergarten, but it can tell you how to get to first grade. This is our third annual technology fair. It's just extremely important for kids to be able to come talk about their work that they've been working on all year. And one thing that we do here at APS is have technology integrated into their everyday teaching and learning process. So technology is not anything that will be foreign to our students. This gets them college and career ready. They come, they compete, they talk about their projects, and they've done everything in 16 different categories, 3D modeling, mobile app development, um, photography, web animation, design. And so we're very excited to showcase their skills and let them be able to really have some leadership skills and talk about what they've been doing all year long. 